Hello, everyone. This is Akio from the Essential Guide to Digital Jewelry Design. Today, I'm going to show you this Harry Winston style three stone ring, the cushion cut four carat diamond in center, and tapered baguette side stones. So, let's get started. I will start in a front view board and create a circle. This is a finger hole. Center of circle is zero and 17.35 millimeter diameter. This is a size seven in US size. And then line command from top quad point of the circle, 1.4 millimeter. And then I have a cushion cut stone this is 9.3 millimeter X and Y direction, which is a four carat diamond. So I'm going to move this one on the top of the 1.4 millimeter line. So move from zero and going on the top of this 1.4 millimeter. Then go to the front viewport. I will create a line on a girdle, line from midpoint. Make sure project is on so that your curve on a 3D object will be on a planar, projected on front construction plane. This is uh, start of the line and end of the line. Then I would turn on the gumball. I like to make offset of this curve, but instead of using offset command, I will use this gumball. Press the Alt key and click the arrowhead. And minus 1.2 millimeter. Again, press the Alt key, click the arrowhead. So this time, minus 1.4. Then I'm going to create a cross section here, starting from here, and go to this intersection. You don't want to see the setting from the top. And this line from here, then delete both line. and create a nice arc. Then join those curve and the fillet corner, radius 0.15 millimeter. And then revolve command, surface tool, revolve, Revolve this, start the revolve axis, zero, enter, end of revolve axis, press enter to use C plane Z axis direction, which is exactly what we're doing right now. Start angle zero and revolution angle is 360. Good. Now I'm going to create a setting for this baguette. Right now, this baguette is 5.5 by 3 millimeter, but I would like to have this tapered. So Control shift and select this uh, right side of the stone, and I would like to scale with a gumball. So click this scale handle, and I will do 2, 2 millimeters is a target, and slash, and a 3 millimeter. Then enter. Now it's scaled to 2 mm. Now I would delete this dimension and I would like to create a setting. So I have a setting curve here at the girdle. I'm selecting this girdle curve and I will bring it down and also make a copy of this again. Press the Alt 
click minus 1.5 this time then surface to loft command I will love this two curves to create a setting okay then cap it and boolean difference with the baguette boolean difference this is a new in the Rhino 8 the setting delete input to yes delete cutter no so cutter this case is a stone and this delete input is original um, you can either keep up those or just you wanted to have a result uh, my case I would delete input so select the poly surface subtract from and subtract with okay so I turn off the baguette extract the iso curve I need a different direction maybe right here and repeat each surface click at the endpoint Okay, then I will extrude it. This is extrusion dot uh, with a shift for the both side and Boolean difference. That looks good. Then I would taper this setting just a little bit. So turn on the gumball, Control Shift to Sub Object Select the bottom surface and pull this uh, scaling handle with a shift just a little bit okay then I will create the prongs to hold this side of the baguette so line, line command I will create the line from here straight a uh, little bit like this and moving this on the side And then pipe command. Pipe flat cap, select the rail, prong diameter, I will set it 0.8 millimeter. And then mirror to the other side of the x axis, I have a shortcut MV for the mirror vertical. Great. Okay, then I'm on a front viewport. I will group this first. I'm going to move this to right next to the setting and rotate it. and rotate more and position okay and then I'll mirror to the other side turn off stones and setting okay then go to the right viewport but I would delete this line and in a right viewport creating a line from midpoint snap the top quad point of the circle And I would like to create a 2.5 millimeter line. So from the midpoint, it's 125. Okay, 
and create a, a rectangle rounded corner. So rectangle is three points with the rounded option. And one, two, three, the five millimeter of the height. Then corner conic point six. So that would be the curve. Yeah, just making sure that's a five millimeter. And 2.5, good. So I delete this line and then go to the uh, front viewport. And then I will turn on the baguette and I will rotate this cross section to a little bit um, inside the stone so that the edge of the shank can hold the stone. So rotate command, center rotation zero, enter. And I will rotate it from this y axis to right here. So this is going to be actually hold a stone. So I will bring it a little bit inside a stone. Great. Then mirror to the other side. All right. And then cross section of the bottom. So line from midpoint, grab the bottom quad point. Width is a two millimeters, so type one and enter. And the height of this cross section is 1.7 millimeter. Then I will draw an ellipse using ellipse diameter command. Start of um, first axis, end of the first axis, end of the second axis. Then trim. Delete the top part of the ellipse and join it. And the fillet corner. Uh, 0 0.2 millimeter. All right, so I'm going to draw a curve. This is how the shank looks like uh, from the front viewport. I would draw the line uh, 2 millimeter from the right quad point. And then create an arc using start and direction and start. I'm going to draw one side and mirror to the other side. So start and direction and start command of the arc. Start and, and hold on shift. Go to X direction and I would Draw the curve using a um, contour point curve. So something like this. Then I will join this and rebuild it. Um, this rebuild is kind of important because otherwise uh, this has a little kink here. So rebuild uh, 15 contour points. Okay, then mirror to the other side of the shank. Then join it. Now this is how it looks like on a perspective view. And let's do sweep to rail. 
Surface tool, sweep to rail command, select the first rail, second rail, select cross sections. Then enter. Make sure the surface seams are aligned bottom of the cross sections and arrows are pointing the same direction. Enter. I will check the maintain height options. Then go to the front viewport. This is something optional, but uh, it is better those ISO curves are perpendicular to the rails. You can use the add slash. So this is like adding uh, extra cross sections. So click and go to the perp. See it more, uh, the surface is tightened, more uniformed. Okay, the bottom looks good and okay. Okay, I will cap this shank. Then I will create this bridge. Turn off this ring. Okay, I'm going to go to the front viewport and create the offset of this circle. I will offset 0.65 millimeter. Then create a circle on the top of this offset. Circle, send the radius command. Click the quad point of the offset, diameter 4. Then we're going to create a donut here to hold a prong for the center stones. Curve tools. Curve from two view. I would like to make this circle, which is curved along this offset. So delete the original circle, delete the one on the bottom. Great. Okay, then I'm going to create the bridge. Turn off baguette and settings. I have this cross section curves and go to the right viewport. Make a line from the quad point. And turn on the gumball. Press the old key, 1.3 millimeter offset. I'm going to trim this cross section. And join it. And fill it corner, 0.2 millimeter. Looks good. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate this one in front viewport. Rotate from the Y axis. And so this bridge will be a little bit inside the, the shank. And I will mirror this one to the other side of the Y axis. And then sweep one rail, select the rail, I have to change to the wireframe, and select the sweep shape, which is a cross section. This is easier to see. And the seam, I will bring it to the bottom of this cross section.
that this is a ring layer. And OK. Good. And I will cap it. And pipe this bent circle. Solid tool, pipe, any of those pipe command. Select this curve, and this pipe should be a little larger than this bridge. So diameter, I would do 1.32. Here we go. OK, then Brion difference from this. And this is a cutting object. Great. OK. So now I will bring back the side stone, center stone, and setting. And I'm going to create double prong to hold the center stone. I drew this curve with a double prong and make sure the project is on. So now I'm going to create the, the sweep shape for this curve. So I will create a circles around this curve. I will start from the bottom, 1.2 millimeter uh, diameter. And next one is somewhere around here, 0.7 millimeter. Tip is 0.4 millimeter. Okay. Sweep one, select the rail, select sweep shapes, enter. Okay. Okay. Then I will cap this one, cap, and then fillet, uh, fillet edge, fillet about 0.2 millimeter radius. Looks good. Okay, I'm going to fillet these plongs too. So I wanted to taper a little bit up here. So, but uh, I will scale the top with a gumball, but this gumball alignment is to the world. So you have to change it to the align to this surface. So there is a menu bar here. And I will change it to the alignment to the align to the object. OK, sweet. So here I would uh, scale it a little bit. So uh, when I scale, the other side scaled as well because of the history. And fit it also 0.2 millimeter radius. The other side follow the same. I would do the other one, scale it. and a fillet. Great. So now this one, I have to place it at the right location. So rotate this plong from the zero. I rotate it from the x-axis. Copy, go yes. That looks good. I will select those two prongs and MH to mirror to the other side Y axis and select them to mirror to the other side of the X axis. Okay, then I will hide this original prong What I need to do next is cut the bottom of those prongs. I will use the wire cut. Solid tool, wire cut. Select the cutting curve is the ring curve. And 
and select the object to cut. I right click the prong layer and select object, enter. And here we go. And then I will select the bottom of the prongs and fill it a little bit, probably uh, 0.2. Okay, here we go. Okay, then uh, I have to turn off the stone, center stone, and baguette, embryo union, everything. Okay, then I would turn on the center stone and baguette. Here it is, Harry Winston style three stone ring. Well, I hope you like today's ring exercise. Please hit like and subscribe button. And if you have any question or request for the particular modeling technique, please leave the comment below. I will see you in the next video. Bye.